is really a ripe issue right now is mental illness, depression, right. suicide. Right. We had a very rough suicide, murder suicide this week from a, a friend of mine. I don't know if you heard about it. Yeah, yeah. Right here in my own town, my own Ohana. You know, being a person who has inflicted, I mean, I've suffered from depression for many, many years. I was on medication for that. You know, they said, oh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, you got gender dysphoria, too. How you? I don't know. You got to go look it up. Okay. <laughs> gender dysphoria. I, basically, you know, I was, I'm a girl in a boy's body. Okay. Gender dysphoria. So it's a disease, so that means I can be, take a pill or whatever to get rid of it. How do we do it, you know? It, it, it's amazing that I was um, diagnosed like that. How old were you? I think I was, I was in my 20s when they diagnosed me like that. Yeah, when, when, when I was full on dressing as, living as a woman. I lived as, I lived as a woman for years and years. And it was an unreal part of my life. Yet I'm never shamed about, because inside me, that's how my heart is. It's like the heart of a woman, you know, and then I have the body of a boy. You know, it's, it was hard to accept, but like I said, now I actually can accept and love myself. I know that what my limitations are, who I really am, and if you love me, you love me. If you don't, I'm sorry, but, you know, maybe you can... You know, try to love me if you don't love me. Right. You know, I, I, I will give anybody the benefit of doubt. Depression is really bad. When I see people going down that road because I've been there, I always say something and, and, and extend my love, my, my aloha to them. You know, oftentimes in isolation. Isolation is, an, is one of the factors that can be very bad for people who are in that situation with depression and so on. By isolating yourself, you, it only makes you feel more depressed and more alone and then might cause you to inflict danger upon yourself, such as we've seen. Many suicides have been, have happened because of this. And unfortunately, been They've been young Native Hawaiians, yeah? And I believe that if you look at the cross-section of the people who are in this stage and who end up being on the list for suicide, they are young Native Hawaiians. In, That's why it's important. In Hawaii, it, across the United States, it's mostly white males. They're the highest demographic, white males. Mm -hmm. But in Hawaii, I think it is particularly problematic and I don't know if that is cultural displacement or economic yeah, or yeah. If it is I, I think it's a common I think it's a combination of things and that you know we Hawaiians have lived in terror now for 100 something years and the legacy of this terror lives in, that it carries to the children how what happened to our country we're sitting here and our country have been taken over. All of the things that we know that is of our culture are no longer valued, no longer wanted, no longer needed. Therefore, you should be dead and you, you guys are dead already. And, and that leads you right down the dead street. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, and I, there's nothing we can do but overcome it. That's all I can say. There's a way to overcome this, and the way is not to isolate yourself, but to join forces with each other, to hold hands, to speak, and to say these things that are on our minds, in our hearts, uh, that cause us to be, de have dementia and, you know, and to become mentally ill, if you want to use that word. I mean, 
Like I said, I, I'm, I'm a victim of this too. I too suffered from that same thing. I too wanted to commit suicide and all of that. Thank God I didn't. Many times I tried to commit suicide. You know, I, one time I remember I was in Waikiki and I was so despondent at how things were going. I said, oh, I'm going to go out to Diamond Head and I'm going to swim and not come back in. And so I went there and I looked at the beach and then I looked at the sky and, and oh, something in the sky said, just told me that how ugly this is going to appear to all the people that I love. Yeah. So what did I do? I wrote a song instead of suiciding. Thank God I did that. Do you want to sing us that song? Maybe we'll um, yeah, I wrote a song. The song is about, um, what do you call that? It's like a prayer. And it's called, There is a Place. And it's kind of like a Christian song. And then the chorus is in Hawaiian. And like I said, I wrote this a uh, day I was contemplating suicide. I, I was going to swim out and not swim back in. And when I went to the shoreline, I looked up at the clouds. Actually, and then I had this thought again, are you crazy? You're going to be so stupid. It's going to be so damn ugly. So I walked back to the Diamond Head Community Garden where I was the president of the garden. I sat under the shade and I kept thinking of all the people I would hurt by my actions. Then I thought of how beautiful it would be to let myself, you know, to not do that and to live the life that I'm supposed to. And when it's my time, then it's going to be beautiful. I, so, you know, I, I came up with these words. There's a place up on high where someday we all will be. And uh, trumpets will herald as we march through the pretty gates. And I thought, oh my God, it could be so beautiful at this time to be reunited with the, with the great spirit. I thought, oh, how wonderful that I, w I thought about how I would feel. And I thought about how thankful I was for having lived the life that I did. And now I would rejoin and be with my, you know, I would be with my, my family again. We would be reunited. And so, in the course it says that Eho Olokahi, we be as one. And it's, the course is like a prayer in Hawaiian. It's Hawaiian in English words. Ekeakua Omana Mayamako. God empower us. Protect us, Ekiai, and Alakai, or lead us in, into the right places and to, to let love prevail where we live here in Hawaii. And it's, Christian, it's a Christian song. I'm a Christian, but yet I don't downplay any other religion. I believe that all religion is holy and sacred and spiritual. Sometimes, and that when I express myself, you know, in this kind of song, yeah. I don't know how I do it, but I, I just do it, and so... Eho olokahi We be as one Eke akua ho omana maya mako Eke ai E alaka E Hawaii, E Aloha mai. There's a place up on high where someday we all will be. Trumpets will herald our arrival as we march through the pearly gates and we'll join with our kupuna. From that not too distant past, Eho Olokahi, we be as one. Eke Akua Ho Omana Maya Mako, Eke Ai, Ealka Imai, 
In this place we'll be safe, we'll be free from hunger pains. No more tears, only joyousness abounds. Keakua will take care of us. In the do I put trust, Eholokahi. We be as one. Eke akua ho o mana mai yamako eke a i e alaka i mai e Hawaii e aloha mai in God's hands and in His grace. Heaven is paradise indeed, one forever with the Lord of Lords. We are saved by that cocoa on the cross He shed for us. Eho olokahi, we be as one. Eke akua ho o mana mai amako Eke a i E alaka i mai E Hawaii E aloha mai E aloha mai E aloha mai Aloha Aloha, my. There's a place. <laughs>